Oh my goodness. We're not gonna talk about this bull. All right. Jesus. God bless. <laughs> you still <laughs> remember that. <laughs> but good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's daily meeting. So glad to have each and every one of you on. Today's Friday. All right. Today is Friday. We are excited. We are excited. We are excited. All right. The third 30 bit, y'all. 30 bit. Okay. He gonna he gonna punch people in the face. He already he said it's gonna be tough. That means it's gut punching. Romy Rome, Uncle Police. The subject matter is tough. Okay. <laughs> he says the subject matter is gonna be tough. He's not gonna be tough. That's like your pastor saying the same thing. Okay, pastor. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're glad to have each and every one of you on. All right. I'm about to hand it over to our illustrious founder. Illustrious. Illustrious founder. Tell him, hold on. He said, hold on. So I'm gonna keep talking to y'all. Hey, what's good, y'all? <laughs> so, yes. Glad to have you. Can I say something in this space? Yes, ma'am. So he said he's not gonna be tough, but I just wanted to say that I was trying to uh, write a sentence this morning, uh, probably about four. And I kept saying, okay, I, I don't know how to put this, where to put it. I, well, I need to speak to him first. No, but I could do it without speaking to him. But let me see what I'm gonna say. And it was tough writing a sentence about Antonio T. Smith Jr. So <laughs> I just wanted to say that. <laughs> so yeah, it's tough. Okay. He, indescribable. He said good. He is indescribable. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, but Apple is indescribable too. Mm-hmm. He's indescribable. So is <laughs> God bless. Well, I think I'm working. This is better. Okay. First off, let me know when Ibrahim logs on. I'm on my phone. And which one of y'all get my uh, MacBook Pro out the out the uh, out the shop? It's only four ninety nine, y'all. Well, the truth is, Jerome is 26 miles away from me. I don't feel like going. Okay. Mm-hmm. Who was helped yesterday? Oh, yes. I right. I yes. definitely was. Definitely. Was. <laughs> Good. We're getting ready to catch that same energy. We're getting ready to catch that same energy because we're going to do a movie today. Show Liz. <laughs> All of y'all are gonna do a movie. Same energy. A little different, but we're gonna produce a movie today. All of y'all are about to be Steven Spielberg. And here's the deal. All you have to do is be like Jerome and Janice, the two J's, and be obedient. Yes. And it will flow from you. Okay, it will flow from you. That's all you have to do. I promise you. You will be disappointed. No, you will not be disappointed. <laughs> I can assure you. But that's what we're looking for. I'm going to do it again. Remember, I, you, got, you got my little list of eight. Yes. All right, put that in the chat. This is what we're trying to do here. I'm working for a social media. I discovered last night that my book is going to be well over industry standards. Good thing is I'm an established writer, but of course it would be me to go over industry standards because no, not that, not shag, but yes. So having great friends. Oh, you tell you're doing a thing. Okay. Yes. Yes. I had so much good content that I went over the word count. It's supposed to be at 120,000 words, but it's okay. It's okay. I don't feel bad. I just now know that it will most certainly be my expectation and the law of attraction to find the right person. <laughs> <laughs> most certainly. 
you know, and then Melissa come and be like, hey, do what he's do, do it. And then, you know, because she got all those connections, you know, she got all those connections. And she can be like, okay, Tom I Hanks, have a question. make this happen, Tom Hanks. You know? yes, yes, ma'am. I have a question. Mm-hmm. Um, Houston doesn't have a problem. Like, I, I just want to make sure that you have not forgotten me. January first, uh, right? What's February first? January. I didn't know it was January first. I was supposed to do something for you on that day. What? <laughs> what? Oh, your podcast. Oh my god. Okay, yes. Yes, your podcast. you're trying to give yes. me a heart attack. It's, what? It's, yes, it's coming. It's coming. Okay, good, good. Yes, yes, I will Don't be on it. Forget the. But- well, you you get on the calendar and have Deanna uh, get with Deanna because I will oh, forget you. Okay, she says she takes you down. Okay, okay if, 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 if you right. Ask Melissa, if you're asking me to do something administrative, then you might as well be saying, Antonio, don't do nothing today. <laughs> That's what you might as well be saying. <laughs> I still owe her the names of these companies. Ah, Lee, I still, but I, I got the, I got the book done yesterday. See, I got the book done yesterday. That part. Yes, but I don't consider that administrative. I consider that this is my, like, I can't ask somebody to sacrifice their sheep on my behalf. Mm. Well, I, you know, I had to do my own work, Jerome. You understand? So that don't. You know, but maybe if I just view all administrative work that way, I do my own work and it'll work out. It'll work out. Thanks. Also, yes. Also, is Ibrahim on yet? No, not yet. Okay. It's Friday. It's Friday night. The mood is I Friday. Fri- I slide in there and say thank you. That's that. um, oh, yes. That's um, Friday night. Is right. It's TJF, you know, when all the, all the, the 90s TV shows yes. came out. That's it, Family Matters. Family Matters. At 8 o'clock. Yes, what was the one Full with House. Full House, but there was one with Suzanne Summers. Step by step. Step by step. Yes. Yes. I I used to like oh, the one with ba- Balky. Balky and Perfect Strangers. Perfect Strangers. Perfect Strangers. Yeah. Yes. Y'all are old. <laughs> School. And then on on Nick and Knight. They, and they, they, they put me yeah. on Jerome shows on Nick and Knight. You know, my oh, three dads. My three I mean, my three sons. <laughs> my three sons. <laughs> my three Mark, what, what be what, what's called? Yeah, Mark and Mindy. Mm. You know, there was one, it was a radio show. Dick Van Dyke. Oh, yeah, yeah, Dick Van Dyke. But it was a radio show that Joe Rogan got a start on that I used to love to yeah. death. Oh, yeah, it was news. I used to love that. News radio. News, yeah, it was news like radio. news radio. That was my favorite yeah, that show. Was that was my show. Yeah, it had was, Phil Hartman in it from SNL. I like Oh, that. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Oh, look at that. All right, what, are y'all ready for some greatness? Yes, I got my pen. Am I muted? You might be. No, you're muted. You talk. Your microphone picked up wonderfully. Yeah. Well, that's the headphones. That's that's why Apple charges thirty dollars for these things. Listen. Mm-hmm. Apple charges thirty dollars for these things. Here's the plan for today. I'm going to tell you. I'm I'm going to tell you what I did, what I'm doing, and I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the book, and then I'm going to tell you. I'm only telling you the book because you got to trust yourself. You 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 have to. Yeah, well, we'll come back to that. And then I'm yeah. Th- thank you, Grace. That helps. But no, put the thing I want to talk about. I want to talk about the book, but then I want to talk about rename and vibing. And then because I've been thinking about that all day. And then I want to talk about. And I want to produce your movie. Two, and produce your movie. That's pretty much all we're going to do today. Why are you not working? Oh, there you go. I'm doing something with my phone over here, and it's not, it's not behaving. It's, it's acting like Uncle Jerome. It ain't, <laughs> it ain't doing what I needed to do the way I needed to do it. You're going to do it in a safe. Uncle Jerome, looking at you. Anyway, 
<laughs> okay, <clears throat> let's start with the book. Typically, a th thriller genre series is supposed to be ninety to one hundred twenty thousand words, ninety to one hundred ten thousand. I'm I'm over that now. Well, I'm at, I'm at the right words as of this moment, but by the time I'm done, I will not be. I, I, I will not be. I will not be. Now, the traditional thing, like, like, so one hot, one side of Melissa's brain is pouring out her head, and going, oh my God, I can't believe you're doing that. The other side of her brain is going, well, you know, let's see if it works. You know, <laughs> yeah, let, let's see if it works. You got to trust yourself. You, you have to, I have 50 screenplays with 15 budgets. Read the rest of it from me. 15 budgets broken down day out of days and pitch decks. So Good. you have work for your company. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she sent me a message too. Yes. So we in. Yes. You want this money? Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. And Buddhas. And Muhammad. And all of them. Okay. I need all. And whoever praying, I need all of you. Whoever y'all praying and I need that money. That is it for sure. Let's see the, so I'm gonna end up about 200,000 200, words. I'm gonna end up about 200,000 words. So it's gonna, which is fine. If I already had the first two books in the series, super popular, right? You know, so something like that, that would be, then it'd be no problem. Cause that's, that's typically, if you think about Harry Potter, the, the last four books, are not only dark but long. They're about two hundred thousand words, considered uh, compared to the first three. But it makes sense. It makes complete sense. But I am using. So I looked up. Uh, if you're an established writer, you can do two hundred fifty thousand. And I'm like, well, I'm, we're gonna have to prove the established writer from the business side. So that's where we where we switched the query to say such things. Plus, you can look all that stuff up on Nielsen Scan Thingy, whatever that they do. And you look all that stuff up. So that's the, that's a good thing there. But I'm bringing this up for two reasons. Reason number one, I trusted. I, I this is I'm writing a book that that is worthy of my very best effort, and you have to know that. You have to know that you've given your best, but you, you can't bullshit about this story because y'all be, be like, I gave my best, Lord. Lies, 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 <laughs> lies. You gave your best of 20% is what you did. You understand? Or you gave your best at the time. When I asked for your best at the time, after you give your best at the time, did you go back and get some more information, some more education and get better? Did you do that? And if the answer is no, then you didn't do your best. Did you did you consult outside advice from people like Melissa? If you didn't, the answer is no. This I have a very tight feedback circle for this particular book because I've been here many a times. How many books I got? Twelve. I've, I've been here. This, you know, this is a different genre. I've been here, so I've been thirteen times. I, I don't need. I don't need at this point, Jerome. You know, I've been 13 times, you understand what I'm saying? So I, I, I know who to get feedback from, but I made sure one is a therapist and one is a publisher. You understand? So I'm, I went and got two professionals in two different areas because my book has, let's just say agendas in it. Not, not political, not political, not political at all. Just, you know, answering hard questions, uh, you know, hard questions. And then I had Melissa who just, you know, tore the book up in a good way. You know, she mm -hmm. she went, she gave me a whole pie chart and a, a bar chart, and, you know, and then metrics and numbers and how many times I said, he said, and she said, and said, cut that out and do this. I mean, I swear to God, I'm not, I wish I was joking with you. I am not. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> to be <laughs> fair, I only sent one tenth of the actual information to you. So I didn't even know. You know, I didn't even know. I didn't even know. So she get the whole. But the story is fantastic, and I got you know I did the right thing. But you got to trust yourself. And then when I found that yesterday, I was like, man, the rest of this book, like from here, from from chapter eleven 
on is about 13,000 words per page. You know, so that's, that's pretty, it's pretty meaty. And but it's great though. It's trust me, it's great. But I was like, wait a minute, that's gonna put us. That's what we called you last night, Grace. Do some math, and you was like, man, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> it's gonna be like two hundred and fifty thousand words. <laughs> Only like two hundred and fifty thousand words is what it's gonna be, and it just is what it is. But you gotta trust yourself. And then when I saw that, I was like, but dang, Deanna, we can't. You know, she she already she was like, we we can't. You know, when I saw, I looked at her. I was like, man, I need to. I need to cut then. And I, and I said to myself, and I had this terrible feeling about cutting. I was like, how am I cut? How am I minimize? Because each scene is pivotal to the, like, it's, it's pivotal. And Diana had no fear, no, she was like, what are you talking about? It's great. It's great. I'm submitting. Boom, enter. It's great. It's great. It's great. Which brings me to my second point. <laughs> is when you after you know you've done what you're supposed to do then when God starts talking through other people you need to listen to that too All right, now. if I was at Jerome Church and everybody would have said amen that's it everybody would have said amen amen All right. amen okay so that's so just know I know what I want to do I, I know each you know, I know these stuff. I, I know I've I've perfected these character arcs. Each character has a character <sighs> arc. I've built worlds. One character has a whole family that I reserved the right, Melissa, to keep in danger the entire time they exist. I reserved the right to kill anybody. Anybody in my books could die. Even though I, I, I killed somebody and Diana was mad. I mean, she cussed me with the ER at the end, Jerome. <laughs> Motherfucker. Yeah, I just, uh, I, the ER was at the end. Yeah. But I, I, the first chapter, like 40 some people die. So it's, it's you know, the prologue, 40 some people die. And in the first chapter, it's just awful. It's just awful. But, you know, I have a dark. Dark, dark book. What dark series? But I like it. It's based on my military career. My military career was pretty dark. So uh, there you go. Just remember that as you move forward. Now today we're going to produce a movie the same way we did your book yesterday. What was the second thing I said I wanted to say? Oh, so, vibing. I want to change the name of vibing because Ibrahim was right, and I said it yesterday. That's why my exact answer yesterday was that's fine. I mean, I don't care about what y'all care about. I don't. I do not. I'm not emotionally attached to anything but winning. <laughs> yes, that's why I kill all the characters. That's just the other bad. <laughs> I'm not emotionally attached to anything but winning. And what is winning for me? Getting out or whatever you call winning. I'll just let winning that be too, whatever. That's subjective, but there you go. I'm not emotionally attached to anything. So I've been thinking of naming, vibing differently. That's a good topic. To discuss. Okay, let me read this direct message real quick. All right, get here, Grace. Oh, there you go. I gotta push that thing now. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Somebody said that's a good topic to discuss. Listen when God speaks to you through others. Most folks don't know the difference between self and when God is speaking. That's fair. That's that's absolutely fair. That's absolutely fair. I want to show he he was not here yet, but we're gonna make a big deal about his book. <laughs> make a big deal about his book here, and looking forward to it. So, oh, it's all his. It's all his cartoonies. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Okay. Yeah, put it on Instagram and then tag me. And tag me and him. You got it? All right. Also, what I want you to do. Oh, yes. I want you to step for my book too now. <laughs> I sure will, sir. I sure will. <laughs> no, that's right, lady. Uh, since, since blessings is being passed <laughs> okay. out. Okay. Since blessings is being passed out. I do understand. I completely understand. Let's. What was it? What was that? It was something. I had a good segue. 
No, 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 no. It was something right before that. It was a good segue into the. Oh, yes. I need you to go to a certain link, uh, Grace, here. Here is how I come. I'm going to give you I want a, a secret of mine. Yeah, well, do you I want a secret? Let me start there. Do you want a secret? Oh, let's, yeah. let's start there. Yeah, yes, right yes, yes, yes. Okay, I have a secret website. Uh oh, wrong one. My bad. I have a secret. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Grace. Open it. Open it up. I'm gonna show you screen. I have a secret website that I go to. It's not secret, but y'all don't know about it. I go to to name my software. Like I'm talking about in the book alone. To so name my characters. Not yet. To name my characters, let's say I wanted to start a cult, and I name my cults with this. And part part Melissa knows this because she does this in her sleep. But part of having a good book is to have characters, memorable characters, memorable character names like Harry Potter, you know, and <laughs> you know Hermione Granger. And Connor Mason, which I don't know nothing about Connor Mason yet, you know what I'm saying? But you will. You will know about Connor Mason. And you will know about Ashton the Ghost. And you will know about Aaron. Yes, Aaron Justice. These are all my characters. Aaron Justice, Ashton the Ghost Jace, and then Aiden Jamar. You know, you would know about these. Brentley. Brentley, I forget Brentley's last name right now. And the, you know you'll you'll know about all these people because I use these these things. Plus, I'm naming cities. So I rename cities. I build you build the world. You get it. Mm -hmm. And I have different names of different cities, like Wakefield. The the United Cities of Solaria happens 100%. All four books, Melissa, happen in Wakefield, which is a whole city that i made up it's wakefield there's united cities are so there's no states there's large territories that are cities which i got from a video game that me and diana play slash watch which is um, <laughs> death, stranding. death stranding death stranding death stranding it was united cities of america is what the yeah, it was after it was, you know set in the future and i was like i like that for united cities of solaria but anyway I, I took that from that that idea that's uh tdo kojima yeah i don't know nothing about <clears throat> games anyway it just he's probably the best game developer of all time but nevertheless so i used this website to create cults to create like say if i wanted to if, if jerome said man i want to name a church they got that for that too you can Name a church. I want to name a mosque. You do that. It doesn't matter. Grace, share the screen. And then Deanna says, I sent it to you. Post the link out there. I use this religiously. Fantasy name generator. You are welcome, cuz. <laughs> you are welcome. I, I use this to name one of our companies that before. Did y'all remember? I have both of y'all helping me. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. You remember which one it was? Breeding Mean. I use this to do yeah, Breeding Mean and Arlen Brook. Sure did. Breeding Mean and Arlen Brook. I sure did. Fantasy name generator. Oh, you scroll. You can scroll up, Grace. You're gonna go to other names, Grace. Man, is this what this looks like on your phones? <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see. Turn this this way and see if we get better. There we go. All right, other names. Now, I see that council names. Let's see it. I'm looking to name a social media. So let's see. Let's look. Yeah, well, narrate it, Grace. A software name. You know what? Let's do software names, Grace. I saw supercomputer names too. Let's do software names. Right. I like this crux. Write down crux. Write down crooks. Ooh, I like Echo Sharp. That's what that is. That's that pound Echo Sharp. I like Echo Sharp. 
Okay, get get, get another one. I, re- I really, Echo Sharp is winning right now. <laughs> Absolutely winning. I really don't even want to pick nothing else, but let me see. And then. Okay, that's good. Like Oracle Pro? No. Well, you, well, see, you, you could take a little piece. Okay, yes. You could, you could say Oracle. And you'd be like Oracle Sharp. If you want to combine or something. Okay, you can put Oracle. Uh, yeah, y'all can say something if you see something too. No, 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 no. All right, keep going, Grace. Hit, hit, hit software names. All right, so I see Perry Dragon Code. Okay, I see. Influx, yeah, I thought Influx is nice. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. But they, I don't know if they can hear. Can you? Can you talk loud? You want to try? There you go. Um, it was a lady character. Something flux. I know Eon Flux. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. What you know about what you know about anime and stuff like that? what's going on over here? I got a question. <clears throat> yes, sir. Uh do each of your names have a meaning behind them or they're just names? Such as if we were to look at one of your names and dig into the name, we'll get a backstory kind of sort of like on what they where they come from. Both and some of my some of my cover names have meaning, some of them do not. Like breeding mean the vi- the village we're building, which we keep it very private, but the vi- we're building the, the naturopathic care that has no meaning whatsoever. I picked it off of this website. <laughs> and, and Arlen Brook is this, you know, yeah, everybody knows that I'm trying to build a city before the day I die. It has no meaning whatsoever. I picked it off this website. However, density six has that's how google has alphabet Mm -hmm. and tonio has density six and then every company under that is y'all know the company under density six which is ats you get it and then ats has a you know like a, a holdings you know it's a holdings density six has the deepest meaning of all of them because I am from density six, but we will have that conversation much later. So yeah, so both and Otis, good question. But see, Otis should be interested in this because Otis is video game developer. Okay, Otis is video game developer. Mm -hmm. So while he's video game developing, he's gonna be like, you know, it it doesn't matter whether you do a fantasy role or, or maybe, you can't have a video game without a story, so the, the, the hero has to pick up some item, and the item needs to be called something. You know what I'm saying? Or something, you know, he can come here and do this here. Hit, hit, let's get some software names, Grace. Let's see, we got, okay, okay you can go. I don't like any of these. <laughs> and then I think I, I'm, I'm still on, Echo I'm still on Echo Sharp, and I think Deanna likes. Influx. Influx. There it is. This is that did it pop up twice? Influx. Yeah, it is. All right, then. Did you want a hundred thousand people join every day? Oh, okay, so, you, so you're putting a meaning on it. All right. Influx. Uh, influx. Okay, I see. I see. All right. Get hits get software names again. Okay. Influx again. Influx again. Okay. All right. You can stop it right there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Go back to the homepage, Grace, just so they can see. Let's say you wrote those names down, right? Yes. Let's let's say just for instance, I want to build a. Let's say I'm building a video game. Or oh, no, 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 no. Let's say in my post-apocalyptic book, there I hide the 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 hero's treasure. They're like the whole reason why the hero is, you know, from page one inside of a locked building that has a supercomputer that the hero needs to get to. But, but please pay attention to this. This is, uh, this is one of the tools. Yeah, if y'all don't save this way, Jerome, if Jerome, you write to me, it's not to save this website, homie. Where he at? <laughs> where, where, where he at? He's done a thumbs up. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I, I use this religiously, I really did. But let's r- write these steps down for me. Put these steps in the chat for me, Gam. Put these steps in the chat. The hero is seeking a treasure of some sort. We'll we'll come back to that. And you don't know it yet, 
but after he departs on his journey, it's in some really hard building in a city surrounded by a security firm and the and the evil boss has it on the top floor of the security firm and you do a good number and his number one right hand man is a woman and she's bad Keep sharing. No, keep sharing. What are you doing? You keep sharing. And he has to get a code to unlock the supercomputer. Let's roll. Let me help you. Hold on. Stop your screen real quick, Grace. We want to pause for station appreciation wow. as we have. Wow. Uh, as we have the great Ibrahim Dar right here in this book. And I want to read to you, page doesn't matter. <laughs> I am a great partner if you look past the red flags. <laughs> <laughs> there you go right there. Yes. And here, this is actually brilliant. Brilliant marketing, brilliant everything. And now his Instagram page makes a lot of sense. Yes. So what I'm oh, going to do. I, I just I just turned on the video and saw it. Yeah. And here's the thing, Antonio. You have it before me. It takes longer <laughs> to ship the UAE. <laughs> so you have my book before me. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me gloat, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, oh, she says like a color. I bet you would color. Yes, it's absolutely you, brilliant. You, absolutely you're, brilliant. Not, you're not alone. I got mine yesterday too, so there. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> you guys all have it before me. <laughs> <laughs> Good, so we got that for sure. Yeah, it came in last night. Yeah, Amazon sent me a picture. It was like, there it is. And I was like, all right then. <laughs> so what we're doing, I'm helping our producer movie. Now I want you to, everybody look at me real quick. Your movie, so we did the book yesterday. Yeah. We're doing the movie today. Uh, give me a third. Could I add that? What's, what's your lady? It's 73. It's 73? <laughs> my metabolism, you know what I'm saying? I, it must be my metabolism, Janice. I'm getting fine. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. You know? It's all right. Okay. Anyway, if you're going to write a movie, all of you are writing a movie, every last one of you. Now, the movie, Jerome, it don't have to be a movie, but you're going to do the exercise because mm -hmm. the movie can turn into a YouTube series, mm -hmm. Facebook Live series, whatever, you know, you get what I'm saying, or an email series or anything like that. It can become a webinar. Mm -hmm. okay. It can become a webinar. Like, do not, if, you, if you're disobedient, it ain't going to become nothing. <laughs> it's not, it ain't going to become nothing. Yeah, but if you do the exercise, you will be blessed just as you were yesterday, you absolutely will. But I'm giving you a tool to help you because we got to come up with memorable names. Grace, share your screen again. Deanna, uh, wrench around and wrench it off, forget that fruit. Because I'm gonna need these names because this exercise would be so cold. I might do this. <laughs> <laughs> I, might, I might do this. What was the number one thing in the chat? I don't remember. I said the hero got to do something. I don't remember what she put. The hero is seeking a treasure. All right, seeking a treasure. So what's the hero seeking? What was Harry Potter seeking? The Sorcerer's Stone in part one. You said the hero is seeking a, a treasure. supercomputer. No, well, no. It's in the supercomputer. <sighs> in the supercomputer. So let's name the treasure. Because it might name the book. No, all right see okay. okay now grace get out of that i need to go to the home page i'm trying to, i'm trying to help y'all yeah, you know what i'm saying now i'm going to use my books or not i'm going to use my writing style my writing preference stop the screen stop the screen stop the screen stop the screen 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, so this is, oh, I forgot my camera. Okay, this is my question because I sat down with you yesterday and I named my book, but my February 1st goal is the framework. The book, how it it's done matches framework, but the book is named different. So would the movie be named after the project? Would the book, would the movie be named after the book or would you just name the movie something else? All good questions. And the answer to the question is you can do what you want. However, but no, not like that though. Not the way you're doing it. I was going to give some top three secret information. I said, nah, I don't get no top secret information. And then, cause Deanna's going to just run around with this. And then your question confirmed it. So we'll ask Melissa now. If Melissa say yes, so be it. If Melissa say no, so be it. Okay. And tell them, you you have to tell him call back later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm calling. Unless he dying. If he dying, we can talk to him now. It's important to him. You know, because time is of the essence. If Melissa say yes, we're going to do it. If Melissa say no, we're not going to do it. Melissa, so like give away top secret information even better than what I'm doing now. It's up to yes. you. I didn't I didn't even think about that one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, pick her no more. <laughs> okay. This is my boy Zidia to come back. The reason why I'm so gung-ho about my particular book in the four put part series is because when I tell you I know what I want, it's not from a place of emotion. Is from a place of extreme strategicness. When I figured out, Melissa, that I want to be a career writer, and you know, and, and you know, and who you call God has this way of revealing things to Janice. You know what I'm saying? So when my my mother was in my house dying, I couldn't do anything, but write the book. I couldn't program. I couldn't leave. I had to cancel all my trips. And instead of having some problem, I just sat and Antoine, I said, okay, what am I supposed to learn in this situation? Of course, I didn't get the answer, Janice, until like, the week before she died, that I want to be a career writer. I did not know that has never been in my future if you go back to 2014 or if you go by keep walking mm -hmm. keep walking genuinely says at the beginning of the book this is the only book i'm ever going to write and i will not write another one. so don't expect the part two i'm giving you everything i have boy did i not know what the hell i was talking about <laughs> you know <laughs> so when i said that the 2014 keep walking never wanted to be a writer Never wanted to be a career writer whatsoever. I saw the message there. We're going to address it. Never wanted to be. But here's the top secret news. The reason why I'm not doing the United Cities of Solaria any way but the way I want to is because I know for sure how the last, I know the last four words in the last book of the series I know exactly everything because I wrote the series backwards, completely backwards, backwards. I didn't write the end of the finale in part one. I wrote it all the way at the very end. And the whole four books takes place in within six months, if that, probably two and a half months, probably two and a half months. Cool. Y'all ready? But... This is what happened is Deanna that planted this seed in my head. Because Ashton, which is the main, he's the Harry Potter. But I've got heroes that rival him, like Harmony and, you know, I'm saying, and, and Ron Weasley. Ashton is the Harry Potter. And he's got so big that Deanna was like, ooh, you should do a prequel. What would you say? A prequel? Yeah, you should do a prequel to the ghost, building up to it. And I was like, Right, right. And I was like, hmm. 
sat in my head and, and I thought about it like same way Ibrahim said, man, you should change the name of Vibe, which I am changing the name of Vibe. You know, it, it sat in my head and I said, okay, no problem. We'll do that. You, you know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll, we'll do that. But I don't like prequels. I don't mind watching them. But prequels is just not my thing because I typically write from the beginning in the first place. This is my brain just works a certain way. But do I like spinoffs? I love them. So I already wrote a seven, it went in my head. I already outlined a seven book series wow. on the ghost. Wow. Yes. So I know exactly what happens after the fourth book or before the fourth book. I would not confirm or deny if it's a prequel or if it's a sequel. I would not confirm or deny. Okay, you have to find out on your own. Pay attention. So I wrote a character knowing that there's a book before, and well, I didn't know it at first, but there's a book before or there's a book after. I'm not saying. I'm not, I'm not saying whatsoever. I'm just not saying. Just not saying. You you got, you know what I think about. We might have, I might have to start the conference at T. You know, let me. You, you, I need you to pull up. Let me, let me, let me. Pull up. Put a prologue in chapter one. Let me, let me, put a prologue in chapter one. Let me, let me put my weight on it real quick. Let me put my weight. Grace, you're going to read. Okay. Oh, Deanna, you're going to read. Put a prologue. We're going to go to the end of the prologue. Okay. And then chapter one. And we'll go there. So why I'm just keep talking. But I created other character because I was thinking about Melissa that I know exactly what happens with said character in the book, and I cannot confirm or deny if this character gets a prequel or a sequel or a spinoff in the book. I can just tell you that this character does. It just doesn't, I'm not going to tell which one it is. So from one book, I got two other books. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I did that, I said, you know what I did? And this is when you guessed it right. And I was like, uh-uh. I created my own Marvel Comics universe. That's power. Because yeah. the world I built has rules. I've I got nothing to do with that. You're doing too much. You know what I'm saying? This, the, the, the world has rules. And I've trapped myself into my rules because I built the world. And right now, all the power is off. Because the whole world is dark. Anyway, you gotta figure it out. But just so y'all can get an idea, so we can help y'all with your movie, just so you can get an idea. Down to pull up the prequel. Let me see what you pull up. I mean, not the prequel, the prologue. I need you to just go to, well, you can read pretty fast, can't you? Mm -hmm. All right. Prologue in chapter one. Now, I know I gave it to y'all before earlier, but it's not the same thing, Jerome. It's not the same thing. It's not the same. It's not the same thing. Not even close to the same thing. I don't, but I don't want to, no, I don't want to, I don't, you know, just read the beginning of chapter one. Just read, yeah, you know, you gotta, you gotta share it, you share it, you share it on the screen. Just the beginning of chapter one. Don't do that though, don't, don't do that. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Go ahead. Chapter one, present day. All right, so the back of tell them what happened in the prequel then, so the prequel sets up the four book series. Oh, the prologue. Okay. So in the pro in the prologue, oh, let me stop. Okay. So in the prologue, Ashton. No, no, you ain't got to tell what happens. Oh. Not, it just happens two years before. Yeah, it happens. Okay. So the prologue happens two years before chapter one. There you go. Okay. Chapter one. Oh, hold on. Until Ibrahim. Uh, Ibrahim asked me a question. We're doing traditional publishing, publishing going for New York Times bestseller. That's why we are looking for a major agent and we've got some, you know, stuff like that. So that's the answer to that question. Go ahead. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say that you got to go the drive route. Completely agree. Chapter one, present day. The back of young Jerry's head throbbed and a gnawing pain ate at his neck. He couldn't move. His vision was failing and his neck was on fire. 
Young Jerry kept trying to move, but it felt like he was wrapped under a building, trapped under a building. His left hand was free, but he was too weak to move. It was as if his life force was leaving his body. Is this a bad dream? He thought to himself. Why can't I wake up? The pain was so intense. Suddenly, the pain became so sharp that it felt like 1,000 ants were biting into the right side of his neck at the same time. I can't. Jared was in the middle of saying something, but it was pointless now. Young Jared died before he could finish his sentence. <laughs> Police Chief Aiden Jamar was investigating a missing persons case. He was praying to God to let him save his good friend, Truth Parker's six-year-old son, Jared. Dressed in a midnight black police jacket, zipped to his chin and sky blue, skirt, sky blue shirt, Aiden took his left hand, pushed his shoulder length locks backward with one motion <laughs> and, took, and took in the view. The Wakefield Mountains were snow-capped and statuesque. Forcing his eyes away from the beautiful view, Aiden willed himself to face his ugly situation. Six-year-old Jared was probably dead. I killed the body. The police chief. <laughs> the police chief had been doing the job long enough to know the first forty-eight hours of a missing person's case was the most important. The kid had been missing for three days now. The clock was ticking, and Aiden had to make a miracle happen now. His investigators have the best chance of following up on leads pe before people's memories fade. Missing persons, missing persons whose authorities believe may be vulnerable, such as children and those with mental illness, are expedited because time is of the essence to get the word out to the public to look for them. There's a certain point after about a week or two where you have to think about the potential that the missing person is dead. And now it's a matter of trying to find their body and bring closure to the family and determine if you know how, a, if you ha now have a homicide investigation. Every passing hour was killing Aiden inside. He had to keep everyone safe in his town. It was his job. After serving in the military, he became a police officer. He had seen too many lives taken in war. He wanted to be an agent of change and create peace. His good friends, Truth and Jenny Parker, were missing their little boy. Aiden hated himself for recognizing that Jared was old, wasn't old or tall enough to learn how to drive, but he was more than old enough to be kidnapped. Mm. The killer never asked for a ransom or set any demands, which terrified Aiden. He had never seen a kidnapping where the killer didn't want anything. Aiden felt the killer didn't want anything because his only plan was to kill Jared. In science, the theory is essentially worthless if there's no way to test the hypothesis and prove it wrong. Aiden's father always taught him that when our minds remain closed or we keep opposing arguments out, our theories, misinformation, and lies always run into the prevailing evidence. Aiden's father would lecture him daily about how our tribal echo chambers get louder and louder with the sounds of the same misleading voices. And if we aren't willing to be proven wrong, injustice and mistruths will always prevail as the women. Aiden tried to remember his father's teachings and pulled out of all the stops to find Jared. He didn't want to be correct. He wanted to test his hypothesis no matter what. Jared deserved that much. Truth and Jenny counted on him to be diligent, not right. Remembering these lessons, Aiden was ready to cross any depth to ensure he gave Jared his best effort. He knew within his heart that if he didn't hurry to find the boy, Wakefield would become a little bit darker with his death. A crimson sunset illuminated the interior of the gray clouds drifting over the mountains. It was a Friday in early October and the temperature was dropping. It had constantly been raining in the past few days, which was a clear sign of cold <clears throat> winter on its way. Aiden had lived in Wakefield his entire life. His dad was a military intelligence officer for the UCS Army and drilled into Aiden, Aiden's integrity, leadership, and the law of attraction. So he was used to Wakefield's hot, mucky weather and the cold, rigid snow. With each passing second, the likelihood of Jarrett's death increased significantly. Jarrett was last seen walking into Frank's Market, 
a small grocery store in town. Frank's store was a common midway stop for the after school crowd as they walked home from school. Every available citizen of Wakefield was combing Cherry Hill looking for a signs of life or death. Then Aiden's cell phone vibrated in his pocket. It had been ringing all night. He was expecting to see a call from Mayor Julia Harris, but it was his wife, Dawn. She was waiting at home with their 16-year-old daughter, Lillian. Hey, honey, Aiden swiped the screen as he brought the phone to his ear. Have you eaten, Aiden? Don asked. Not yet, baby, but I will. There you go. All right, you can stop the screen. Okay, there's more, but whatever. Just know I killed the six-year-old kid in the first paragraph. To be clear, it's just, he had to die. It's just, he had the whole die. You understand? Dieth, dieth, dieth. Six year old kid, first paragraph they're wrong. He dead. It is what it is. All right? He is dead. Now, how do we name all this stuff? Where did I get Jared from? Where did I get Truth and Jenny Parker? You give like Truth and Jenny Parker, really? No, it's not. I've never said, hey, Jenny Parker. No. No, of course not. Okay. All that's all I said. Now, watch this here. Deanna, mm -hmm. the first thing is we need the treasure. So we're going to use my book. That's why I did that. So you see my book. So what's the treasure? <clears throat> Let's name the treasure. Let's say, well, 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 first off, let's name the hero. Let's, let's do that first. Let's name the hero. Grace, go to Fantasy Name Generator, show your screen. Let's name the hero. That'll help me out a bit, bit better. I'm gonna name the hero, finish the name generator. <clears throat> and then now you're gonna go to, wait, 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 okay, there you go. You're gonna go to names. I don't see where real, names. real names. No, hold on, don't, don't click. Just let it just hover. And you might have to click. All right, there you go. Now you're gonna go down to American names, I believe is what it says, or English names. So it says English. And it's gonna have two different English. You're gonna go to English American. But you, it's all, every type, every nationality, every African, Igbo, all those up there. Well, well, yes, and they are very African American. They are very African American. I can assure you, very African American. So look, Dexter Bates. Oh, you like Benjamin Anderson? She likes Benjamin Anderson. Benjamin Anderson. All right, that's our hero. No, 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 no. Well, you, you, I did say you can write that down. Just write it down under that. Though, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm making this up as, as I go. Benjamin Anderson. Now we need to name our villain. Right, we need to name our villain now. Let's name our villain. And let's make let's make the villain a no no no. We're gonna make a woman later because I already said that. So let's go with our villain. But you know what? Let's make this real sci-fi-ish. Go back up and go back to the home. And when you go to you say something like other names or something. All right, I'll cover over that. And let's go down, go to the V's. You should see villain names or something, Grace. Over there. Uh -oh. Okay, it's in a different spot. Let's okay. see. Or do it say superhero names? Yep, right there. I see superhero. Go, no, no, it's, you know, it's in alphabetical order. So see what it says. Superpower. Superpower. All right. So it's in a different section. Go back up. You know, like where everything at. And then what, is, what does it say? Other... Could be, could be. I, I've I've seen it before. I just it's a bunch of different options. Okay, so, I see superhero names. Okay, so you see super villain right there. Super villain names. Oh, yeah. Right there. Okay, click there. There you go. So now we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it like real deal. Okay. Super villain. Right. Disemboweler uh, is pretty dope. <laughs> All right, let's go click again, Grace. And remember, you can, you can, you can take like the ruthless comic. You can take, <laughs> but you can do ruthless mercenary. I got you know, it. Which one is it? Professor Savage Starling. There it is, then. Professor Savage Starling. There it is. And you, you can combine. Y'all see this? Now, if you're not impressed, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, because remember. We don't have mm. to do this for fantasy. 
this is equally as good for your webinars or your stuff like that, whatever you're doing, equally as good. So that's now we, Professor Savage Starling. I might use that for real, yeah, I, might, I, might, I might hold <laughs> off on that. So y'all yeah, yeah, see it? So now I know a professor, I get to, that, that I get to build a whole world around said professor. Now let's name the treasure. It's easy for me to name the treasure now since I got the hero and the villain because it, it, it kind of shaped the story in my head. Yes, you can say something. No, no, no. Uh, be in the fantasy and both of you? I don't know yet. I'm, I'm about to find out. Uh, show your screen though. You show your screen? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's it. Mine says. Hot culture? Uh, well, I don't know. Let me, let me see. Let's see. What do I want, Benjamin? What would the professor be holding? Mm. The the professor is and it's not, okay, so it's not the hero's treasure. The hero is on an arc to save the world, and the professor is. Go ahead. It is. Hmm. It is the device that triggers the bomb that he's going to drop to the center of the earth that's going to explode when it hits the core and shake up the earth off of its atmosphere -ish and move it. Okay, so let's take that. No, no, that's great, but let's, let's take that and let's make it a bit more dangerous. And let's do it. It's a device that goes into the atmosphere, not the center of the earth, that kills everyone who has not got it. The vice that kills everyone who has not purchased the professor's phones. So you're talking about, let's see. The professor, nope, the device that kills everyone who has not taken the professor's antidote. There you go. Then you, it's a device that, oh no, so let's name this device. Let's name this antidote. Grace, go to other names, please. So a bomb goes off in the air, and anybody who had taken the antidote dies. So let's, uh, I gotta. Yes, so let's go with. Okay, we got. Let's go down alphabetical order. Channel gear, energy types, evil organizations, fantasy planets, food names. I'm looking for. All right, you can go to molecule names. Go to well, no, no, not not molecule names. Just shit. You can go to potion names. Go to potion names. Yeah. Potion names. Here's our antidote, and it's the elixir. Nope, none of those. Hit, hit. Yeah, more names. Let's go with the brew of secrets. I'll just keep it just like that. The brew of secrets. There you go. And then now let's just skip for sake of time. See, I can go each step. Everything you named, Deanna, I can name this here. This, so the, our hero is after the brew of secrets, but it needs to get a device, so we'll skip the device name. Now let's name, Grace, go back into that same section you're in. I think you were in the fantasy names or something. Let's name all these foot soldiers that are guard, guarding the building. You're you're in some other name. Yeah, okay. See that it says guild clan names. Mm -hmm. There you go. Guild clan names, and we're gonna call. Okay. Yeah. Uh, click click another one. Mm -hmm. And then let's go with. Yeah. Nope. Give me another one. All right, let's go with the vicious embers. 
So these are the vicious embers that are guarding it. Now, Grace, go to real names, because I said that the hero, that the villain had, like Professor had a bad woman guarding him. Bad woman guarding him. Go to real names. We want her to have a real name. Go to, we're going to go to, we want to make her, hold on. We want to make her, let's go with Egyptian modern. And then when you get there, go on to female. We want to make her something. There you go. There we go. Yasmin Basara. That's it. That's her name right there. And of course, we can name the building Lex Luthor Corporation, right? Whatever. Y'all get the point. So stop right there. Stop your screen, Grace. Stop your screen. Everybody look. Can you see how using this can help you name whatever you want? So when it's time for you to do your movie, you're going to name a scene something. Yesterday, I taught you how to dump. Now I'm teaching you how to be creative. It has its purpose. This has its purpose. Go, go ahead, yeah. Can we use the dump from yesterday to, to do our movie too? Yes, you can. You absolutely can. Okie dokie. Everybody ready? You saw how I did that. Now let's have some fun. We're going to have some fun now. This is where you cut your cameras out. Well, do whatever you did yesterday. I don't want to tell you what to do. But do whatever you did yesterday. Because it's exercise time. Right? <laughs> so do whatever you did yesterday. You got to exercise. Nah, that's not fair because I can't exercise. <laughs> that's not fair. That's we're gonna, ex we're gonna exercise the demons. That's it. <laughs> that's it. All right. So we want to create a movie. We want our movie to be ninety minutes, and in our movie, we want to talk. We want to have ten minute sections. So that's nine sections. Everybody got it? We want nine, 10 minutes. Well, actually, oh yeah. Well, we want, what we want is, we want eight 10 minute sections, a five minute opener and a five minute closer. That's what we really want. We want the credits to roll. You know, and then we want Lisa Nichols to kill the end with what's his name, Andre Beckwith. No, oh, his name's yeah, Beckwith. Beckwith, though. Michael Beckwith. Michael. There we go, Michael Beckwith. We want them two to kill it at the end. Yeah. You know, like you know, and that'll happen for sure. And then they killed it, they killed the end of the secret, they absolutely did. Absolutely did. No, but she say, you come to this place, this juncture. I said, Oof, watch it, Lisa. Mm -hmm. uh, she stole the show. She really did. She, I had never even heard of it until then. Mm -hmm. I never, never heard of Lisa Nichols until the secret. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Let's see. Did y'all write that down? Five and then eight tens and one five. Five, eight, tens, one, five. This is your move. Wow. Could this be a webinar or something? Yes. You could do what you want. I don't care. But follow the exercise because, yeah, follow the exercise. And, of course, if you're doing, like, webinars or something or Facebook Live videos, then you can take each section and talk about it for an hour if you want to. You know, That's up to you. In this case, I'm going to make my movie, Jerome, a documentary. Yes, go ahead. Now. 
how do you determine if your movie is going to be a documentary, um, actual like movie or with, um, yeah, how do you determine that? It depends on your skill set and your preferences. In this case, so happy and grateful. I want to have a movie accompanying it like The Secret. It just makes sense because so happy and grateful is my coup de grace. To when you read it, you'll see it's the eight laws of happiness in you. Basically, I wrote about the eight laws of happiness in you, and then I ended with the law of attraction, and it even has an epilogue. It's my first book that has an epilogue, without a doubt. I want to, I, in fact, the, the last chapter, I spent a whole time on So Happy and Grateful talking about universal laws. Like y'all should, you, I don't even tell you how to buy it, you will. Universal laws, and at the very, the very last chapter, Jerome, I got a whole chapter that says, for all of you who have a pastor or you have religious walls that say, this isn't real or blah, blah, blah. Here is all the Bible scriptures that I can find <laughs> that have the law of attraction. And it's, I think I did like a hundred of them. I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. I put a bunch of them there. And I didn't even, exp- I just, boom, verse, chapter, I just listed them. And you're like, whoa. Yeah. I even got, remember I got your brother when it first came out. And he was like, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So I did that. Anywho, so you can do this however you want to. In my case, I'm going to do a documentary. I'm going to get like four to five, four to six people. I know I'm going to have Grace. I know I'm going to have the out. Four more that I want to get and we talk about it. And then I'm deciding, should I be in it? Should I not? I'm not even sure about that. You know what I'm saying? But I know I want to talk about it in a great way. So tip us to be in it for sure. So I got that much. You know, so I know that much. You, you understand? That's three. And then we'll go from there. So I know I'm going to do that. And then I, and I write these sections down. Now, in this case, Janice, you don't need Fantasy Name Generator to write these sections down. You can just take your book. You take your book and then pick out the eight you want. Y'all, y'all not, y'all not. I'm, I'm giving away free game because you want to. Yes, ma'am. So, okay, and I want to make sure I'm getting this right. So, mm-hmm. yesterday when you had said the, our assignment, the the five different things. If we take, if we take eight of those of those specific of those sections and and break it down and you gave us the two bullet points and break it down really into maybe one bullet point. For for um, you know, what I'm saying one bullet point for the five things. Would that you know, what I'm saying that could that could make up the eight the eight things with the ten minute sections. Am I, does that Absolutely, make sense? it does. Okay, it sure All does. Right. It okay. sure does. It sure does. Let All me right. pause real quick. Which one was like the war room? Which movie was that? The book or was that the which book was that? Post apocalyptic was that? Then your private message is that for yours. Uh, I gotta go. I just saw the movie like The War Room. Oh, uh, at first we can't. Hear. At first, it was worry about yourself. But then, the more I'm sitting here, and the more I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking more along the lines of what the bleep do you know? That's a good book. What do you know is one of my favorites. So you'll you'll figure it out. You feel me? You'll figure it out. You, you'll definitely figure it out. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. But right now, you all can take your move, your book, and you're gonna put it on these eight sections. Your book and the movie should tie together, Antoine. But they should be two different experiences. You don't. What you're going to do is, how you, Antonio, how do I do this? You take the chapter of your book, and then you're going to talk about it. You're not going to talk about the book. You're going to talk about the chapter. This is very important. 
And if you involve other people, and to, if you say, hey, Antoine, chapter two of my book is controlling your people pleaser. And here's been my experience with this, and it really has hurt me a lot. So what I would like for you to do is I would like for you to talk about, you know, three to five minutes, just anything you want, if you want to prepare some notes, whatever. I want to film you talking about people pleasing. Now, see, he ain't read the book, but he's going to talk about it in a great way to where it's in the book energy, but isn't a transliteration. It's not, it's not the print version of the book. I'm not looking for Harry Potter, the book, to Harry Potter, the film. Gotcha. You understand? I'm looking for Harry Potter, the book, and I go, chapter one is the kid who grew up under the stairs. And then in the film, I go, what is it? You can turn it up a little bit. What does it feel like to be rejected? You know, or people who have bad childhood. You know, and that's the blah, blah, blah. Is everybody following me? Because I'm trying, I'm trying. Remember, we in execution mode. Okay. Because here's the deal. Monday, y'all got to bring me your book and your movie. All right. Okay, Janice gets it. So you excuse can sit me. Here. Excuse I, me. <laughs> you can sit here and multitask all you want to. <laughs> Grace, write that down for me. So when I come here Monday, in case the Lord try to make me forget, Grace, his servant, is going to make me remember. Now, Monday, we only talking about they book and their movie, and we won't be building it. We will not be building it. We will be executing a step higher on how to get, we're gonna talk about the tools you need to produce that. Absolutely. So if you don't do today's exercise, you are gonna be screwed Monday. You are gonna be screwed Monday, because you are gonna be too far ahead. Because we're not talking about concept Monday, we're talking about, Janice, now that you got this, Here's the tools I suggest you use for that. Yeah, I told y'all, we didn't come here to learn her. <laughs> we came here to execute. You see, Antoine pulled over. Yeah, let me go ahead and get the Lord to work real quick. I'm going to go. <laughs> this is important. because I mean, imagine Antoine doing a whole documentary, a movie over security that matches his book do you understand how much you become a personal brand when you do this and nobody else doing it you're the only person and you do it if you do this well then your ted talk application is a shoe in so then you have a ted talk and you're on ted talk and on your bio it says the producer of security films movie and the author of the best-selling book on security mm -hmm. and also ted talk how you not gonna be rich i'm just out here trying to give away the game but listen i'm just out here let me let me let me look down here real quick let me see who are here see i don't see this why this is why this it's, it's good because this 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 class is cameras on cameras off is up to you but as long as Adonia listening, I'm gonna move on. You understand? Adonia and Ron, let me make sure both of them. Y'all flashing cameras and say, well, Adonia, don't flash your camera. You might be. Oh, no, it's like seven o'clock for her. So she did. She, she dressed. She dressed, <laughs> you know, she dressed. I mean, you could, okay, Ron got it. Okay, so Ron's listening. Now, Adonia, you can flash the camera, but we going viral. <laughs> you understand? We going viral. Only fans. Only fans. I was trying to act like I wasn't here and see how long he was going to call me out. But I've been here from the beginning. The only thing I'm saying in my head is I ain't doing no movie, but I am going to do a said, version of said, it. I'm going to do, I'm going to do something that is maybe be kind of like a movie. So Fair whatever. enough. Fair enough. I'm listening. I have, I, you gave me an idea because of it. Good. Good. Hey, listen, maybe it's not a movie. Maybe it don't. Maybe. Says, well, I don't like being on camera. So then she, this is what she does. She says, well, I'm going to do a movie, but I'm not going to be in it. I'm going to have four people I trust. Or here's what's, here's what's even better. She don't do a movie. She do a limited podcast, audio only. She take the whole thing I'm saying, 
and make it a limited podcast. I'm thinking something like that, but I like the idea of maybe interviewing someone because I know my sections in the book and I'm going to pick people that can relate to that or that's been one of their challenges and we're going to talk about that. Are we not calling that no movie? Mm -hmm. I don't well, you know. Well, it's a movie. No, no, no. And you're going to do it like Tyler Perry. Adonia Dixon presents. Oh. Adonia Dixon Studios. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that's it. Come on. Can y'all see how this movie becomes a limited podcast? Becomes, man, I am killing this right now. I don't know what y'all. <laughs> Renee, you ain't got no choice. You can't be the god I'm of the you. written word and not. Oh, okay, you got. She said, "I got my." You, note you, you see what I got in front of me here? Yeah, no, okay. I, 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 and I, only, I only use this when I am writing. So I, I, I pulled it out and I've already got some things written down because I'm, I was, when you gave us the assignment yesterday and I said, you know what? I was like, that would be a really good webinar. Everything that I wrote, I said, that would be a real good webinar. I was, like, good I, webinar. Do, I was like, I should do one. That's that's what Jerome was saying. I'm so be that I did it. I might fool around, got me another book, but didn't even plan on having one. Yeah. Didn't even, you like know? Or a webinar. Yeah. You can say, well, book and yeah. webinar. Well, at the very least, Jerome got a podcast yeah. that's produced in one of his podcasts. Like it's, it's, He's got a podcasting network. It could be a limited series called that. You know, that has 50-something episodes. That's it. You know, something, you know what I'm saying? And that's it. And, and, but see, what you do, Adonia, is now this has to be high production. Now, whatever you do, it has to be high production. Let me tell you why. Because we're not saying we're doing a movie. No, that's not what we're doing, Melissa. This is, I just, this is what Melissa, Melissa does this very well. So I need to act like Melissa here. We're not saying we're doing a movie. We saying we better than y'all. Hmm. I'm connected. You're not hearing me. I'm saying come into a high production treant land. Hmm. Move over here to where we know Johnny Depp. So when you cross into the movie, y'all, I don't want you. No, no, you, it can't be like this Zoom call. No, no, because this is a high end production. Why? Because we are not doing this to do a movie, Janice. We're doing this to establish you as a thought leader. This is what we're doing. This is what the book is for. And this is what the movie is for. Now the movie can become a limited podcast or anything Adonia think of. Plus, if you like Adonia, you ain't got to be in the movie. But if you're not gonna be in the movie, it absolutely needs to say as Janice Smith presents. That's it. But you need to put your weight on it. I get it. You need to be you the executive <laughs> producer, all that. Go ahead, Adonia. I, I like the concept and I'm thinking of, and this is just real, you know, junior. I'm just thinking like the coffee talks, like we're like, like the red, like the red table is something like that. And I don't know how to, I have to figure out what, how I would, would want to name it. What? No, 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 that's was well, you can go to fantasy name generator and name it. We just showed you. That's why, see, that's why I did that. That's why I did that. Yeah. So she, she knows she wants talk or something like it. And she knows she wants coffee, maybe coffee and something like it. So she can go to fantasy name generator and pull up other names right. and then maybe go to, you know, it doesn't matter, like, like exclusive society. Come on, Grace, go to, go to fantasy name generator real quick. Let me show this. There's a re Sometimes I want to cuss y'all. There's a reason why I showed y'all this. Go to other names real quick, Grace, and it's going to say something like secret society names. Secret order names. Secret order names. Okay. So Adonia now has secret order. Now do me a favor, copy and paste that link. This this specific link so she ain't got to look for it, and go and put it however you communicate with it. Go go just stop, stop your screen real quick. We for we gonna send this to you right now, right? So she can go back because I know it's we gonna we gonna pick a good name. She's gonna be like, oh, I like that, but I'm gonna see if it's some more. You know, Adonia is a let me be thorough. You know what I'm saying? So she gonna look for herself. You understand? Yeah, she gonna look for herself. So we send she sent that to you right now. So is it finished? So I'm gonna keep going until she finished. We're gonna go back up and we're gonna pick a secret order name. Now here's the deal: we're gonna pick a whole secret order name, 
Now, we're not saying that's going to be the name of the show, but, but she, what she's going to be able to do is merge talk, coffee, and a secret order name into one thing. And then it costs, here's the deal, it costs nothing. Let's say you want to do Red Table Talk. It costs nothing for you to go to Craigslist, buy a round table for $50 and whatever the round table like right now, this table right here, brown table, a brown table. We can't say brown table talks due to the fact that it's too close, but now we got a brown table, secret society, and I know I want to talk, and it's just three of my HR sisters. But you know what? It's really, it, I'm on, really talk trying to, to me. take well, I, I don't want to have you try to do this now because I'm really in, in motion. But here's here's what I'm thinking. Um, I don't want it to be the crux of HR is people. So it's really about peace, people talk, how we treat people, how we act, our fears, our our trepidations, our negative self-talk. It's really about that. And all that has to do with how we uh, how we deal with people, because my issues I'm throwing on somebody else. So I, I don't want to twist and get all confused, but but. I, I know I'm connected to HR, but the human comes, the human being in HR, right? You got to take care of the person, not the position, if that makes sense. It's, it's, that does, I, that does make I, sense. I don't want to confuse it. I kind of know no. what, I want, what I'm trying to, to articulate. I just kind of want to do to have an idea. It's really not about HR. It's just about common decency, bottom line. So so Red Table Talk is very in the, in the energy there. <laughs> So we sit down, we have real conversations, ask people about bettering the world. This is what this is the energy she's, she's on. You get what I'm saying? Energy she's on. Exactly. Great. You exactly. Got. got you. Got you. So no HR. Put up Secret Society. I'm gonna name her Secret Society. This is not the name. I'm just doing this for exercise purposes. All right. Let's see. Oh, this is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is good. The curators, that's dope. I mean, the old, the Society of the Reckless, where is that? The Reckless Diamonds. She, oh, yeah, she merged. That's what it is. Society of the Reckless Diamonds. Okay, well, hold on. Because she's saying it's people, people worthy. It's all about the people, not the, not the organization, but the people. And Adonio, are you looking, are you looking for diamonds in the rough? Are you telling people they are already diamonds? Are you polishing their diamonds? Are you, is it the rose that grew from the concrete type energy? Are we growing it's, it's people? Like, it's like growing, but it's like stepping up because here, again, I walk stepping around a lot of what I call bully bosses. And here's what I'm doing. All they do is bark at people. This is stupid. Yeah. You didn't do this right, blah, blah. And then they come tattletale on me and say, well, I want this person fired. I'm not firing this person. Oh. I want to know what led to it. I want to know what they didn't know. I want to know, did you know they didn't know it? And I want to know, did you do something about it to correct it? Stop trying to just fire folks just to fire them. So it's yeah. about the people. When you're managing, first of all, people don't want to be managed. It pisses me off when I hear that word. You're not no. managing what you're doing is supporting me to get to the goal that you and the company, not just the company, you and the company are trying to get to. That's what leadership is. Hey, so it, I so, got so, it. I, I know right. I get passionate. I got a little attitude. No, no, no. I'm, I'm loving it. I got it. Hit, hit the next section, Grace. I got it. I just, I just ain't saying that yet. I just want to make sure. I got it. I got it. The Society of Gentle Bosses. The Society of Gentle Bosses. Okay, I and, like and that. I think I like <laughs> maybe I like I like the the text of it. The Society of maybe um, we'll figure it out. But that's yeah, you'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll figure it out. But we but we closer than what we you know. Yeah, very good start. I think that was Antoine trying to say something. Uh, yeah, I I thought of facilitator right there when she was talking about yeah. facilitating mm -hmm. um, the growth of mm -hmm. others. Yeah, no, no, no doubt, no doubt. He's like, right. here's the you can stop your screen. The reason I picked the society of, and she'll pick something because she said bully bosses. So I was going in the, the 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 difference. You know, what I'm I was going to difference, but she wants to make it about people, and she probably don't make it about bosses. But now, and I'm not trying to pick a name for her. Yeah. I'm just in the flow of exercise. Mm -hmm. I've got to pick something so y'all can like. I'm just a launching pad. Is this is this fair? I'm just a launching pad. I'm not trying to say, Adonia, you do this. That's that's exactly not what I'm trying to do. But I need to say something, Ron. 
So now she's going to think all day, like, you know, that was, that wasn't it, but there was something about that. Yeah. So now let's think about this. So we got the society of gentle bosses yeah. plus table talks, mm. plus a movie slash series. So her, it sounds like her movie becomes a series. Yeah. And here's the deal. If she do this right, like they not, they Emmy nominated yeah. Jada Pinkett. So you, if if this is right, Oprah will find you, Adonia. Okay. Anyway, let me let me keep going. Let me keep going. So the society of gentle bosses. This is not the name. I know. I know it should be more people focused, but let just let me roll with it. Society of gentle bosses, and it's three bosses sitting at the table. She not even know. You know, she could be on camera, but she's more moderated. Yeah. You know, like, you know, you watch the sports, there's always a moderator, and they're skipping Shannon, yes. you know, go after it, and then the moderator controls the conversation. Or, or if you don't know that, ex- if you don't know that example, think about the political debates and how there's a moderator asking questions. That's all she got to do. She don't have to say anything. Or she could just be the voice in the background. You get it? However she wants to do that, but she doesn't have to be the focus. It could be the audience. And it's at a table. So we're talking about the sign of general bosses, movie, table, and then it goes, so you can do anything like gentle, well, you can't say gentle table talk because it's still too close, but she can, you know what I'm saying? There's something there where she could combine all of this together. Are y'all getting me? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I'm like, for the people talk or so. I have no idea. It ain't my job to know. She's Her light is going to bubble up now that I'm saying, if anything, if I'm right, and if she's in the right energy, right now her blood should be racing in her veins because she, like her spirit, her source her is saying, hey, hey, we own something. This is, we already knew this was going to happen. This is what we came here for. This is that, that when your blood starts pumping like that, that source you saying, hey, pay attention to this moment. Pay attention. This is what you told me to do for you. I led you to this place, Adonia. I led you here. You must, y'all not hearing me. Y'all not hearing me. I know y'all not This is what you said you wanted. This is what, this what. Mm-hmm. Listen mm-hmm. how I what? elevate. I elevate. I get really, uh, it almost sounds mean, but I really don't think I'm a mean spirited person, but I get really angst up or whatever the correct word is when I see opportunities where you can lift a person up, but you punching them in the face. And yeah. it just, it pisses me off because it's not necessary. You can still yeah. get what you need or, or get a positive outcome, but you let the person know you give a care and then you start having that conversation. Yeah. Yeah. I, so much there. I'm, I'm thinking, what I'm thinking about is a round table of knights defending peasants. Mm. Every time she talks, I see her as a knight defending the people of the land from the... Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sword the, is sharp. It's that, sharp. I, I feel it. Yep. And you better yep. not, you better watch how you handle me watch. and yep. my people. <laughs> yep. That's now, you I, she, I'm the, I will I will put my fist up like I'm a swing on you if you mess with my people. Because I, yeah. I don't mean they're not my people. I don't say that like I possess them. No, I get it. But, but I, I I defend because hurt people hurt people. And I understand when you're a bully like that, you got to issues your own dang self. So, so because of that, if we understand where we are angst is, you got to know other people got it too. So let's, let's bring it down a level and let's work through it. The goal is to get to the, the finish line and we're going to get there, but you can't beat me up trying to get me there. Well, let, let me say this, this keeps popping in my head and I just, I'm just saying it so we can ignite, mm-hmm. continue this fire in her soul. But I feel like I'm supposed to say it. Adonia, you, I've never it's all in my heart servant warrior mm. that's you like mm-hmm. every time you okay look, look everybody nod their head that's a don't yes. yep. she's a servant warrior isn't she yeah. yes i think you were supposed to hear that but whatever i don't know what's gonna happen i ain't got nothing to do with that but it keeps it keeps jumping in my spirit Y'all hear me? Yeah. Zonia ain't sham. Zonia ain't got no problem. No, 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Zonia, mess with your people. Oh, no, wait a god dog no minute. <laughs> that, that's me. That really true. That's me. Yeah, you know, I'm servant warrior, gentle warrior. Something. You should, you should play 
with you being a warrior that's not a warrior though mm. anyway and that, that there's your talk you know you, you could be like servant warrior talk servant warrior podcast it doesn't matter that's that's irrelevant what's relevant here is that the lord's will has been done mm. I, I have i have put enough meat on the bones for her to cook her own meal all right there yes, we go you thank you you're very welcome you're very welcome good so can y'all see how doing this exercise pushes your podcast now here's the deal before you think this is too much for you ron before you think ah oh, man i don't have time for this oh this what you do is you say which i pick both of them because i know they 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 execution they're doing the exercises this is it this is how you establish yourself you don't establish yourself by posting on social media you establish yourself by posting on social media what they can't get anywhere else okay yeah y'all posting the same stuff on social media expecting to stand out i dare you go join another zoom call to see if they're doing this It's a whole bunch of sell the sizzle and not the steak folk out there, don't you? Watch yourself. All right, everybody. Now, if you want the class that we have about this, that's it. For for the low price of two thousand nine hundred ninety-seven dollars. Low price. <laughs> <laughs> we'll mastermind with you and help you come up with your idea of your podcast of your movie and structure it for you i just did it for free because i don't know what else to tell you rod <laughs> i don't know what else to take <laughs> i don't know what else to take i did it i did it for free antoine it wouldn't know well you know what we will we have a we have a two-day workshop <laughs> to where you'll leave our two-day workshop with a book and a movie. Yeah, I just did it on Thursday and Friday. For free. So you can't get this nowhere else is my point. And then I stripped the audio and put it on a podcast. This is why my podcast is so popular because people in the podcast be like, holy crap. I can't believe this is on here. Yeah, get it. Go scratch her back so she can stop acting like a bear. <laughs> All right, let me wrap this up. Let me wrap this up. <laughs> she acting like a bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you May all. I ask a question. Yes, yes. Great morning. While you're Great in your generous, generous vein of, of flow. Yes, so, ma'am. Um, where you mentioned the, and I'm not at home, so I can't get on camera. So when you mentioned the opener, you were saying something about talking about um, talking about your book, the first chapter or whatever. Was that tied to the opener, the five minutes? Or is no, that well, before the five minutes, within that 90 minutes? So the, the opener of the first chapter should be in your 10 minutes, should you be doing it that way. I had the five minutes so you can do your credits. You know how you, you got the inspiration oh, yeah, stuff that comes at the beginning. Yeah. Got it. Right. Got it. Yeah. Like the secret starts off. You know, right. okay. you can do anything you want. Yeah. You know, there's this there's a secret out there that's such and such and such and such. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that they, they didn't hold the secret. The secret is a law of attraction. And that took about five minutes. Plus the, -da 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 -da. the people running through the, you know, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? A year ago, I had nothing. And you know, all that stuff like that. Now I just got a text. This is divine. I just got a text for a podcast listener. They said, I need to pull up my podcast. Apparently, <sighs> that was both joy and cussing and be like, and that was y'all stop beeping with me. I told you I'd be doing this stuff anyway. I just got a text message just now. Just now. And it says, it happened at 9.05. 9.05. And I don't know if you could, I can zoom, but and it, is it clear? It's not probably not clear. Can you see it? Down, stop multitasking. Look, stop multitasking. Look, 
the ones always closest to me be multitasking. I don't understand. Oh, yeah, I see it. You see it? I listen yeah, it over says, and over a must. Episode 31, it happened at 9 05. What time is it right now? Central Standard Time. 9 9.35. 9 35. So I just got this. And hold on. Yep, 9 05. So I had my phone down. 9 05. So 20, 25 minutes ago. Episode so 31. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Go, no, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay, so whatever, pull up the podcast. So pull up the podcast. Secret to Success. Yeah, pull up, pull up the podcast. I want you to share. So whatever I did on the, it's probably more you talking about financial, the financial class 31, I gave out a blueprint. On financial class 31, I gave out a blueprint. Y'all hear me? I gave out a blueprint that I should have charged for. This is a six figure guy. He's a six-figure electrician, not an electrician. Yeah, electrician and general contractor. And he's saying the blueprint I gave out, he got to have it. He got to sit over and over. There's no sizzle. There's no step. Share it, share I don't know what it, what's the name of it. I have no idea what the name of it is. That's what we're trying to figure it out. Because I need y'all to get, y'all getting it. But see, y'all are so close, you multitask. You're close, you don't, you're close, you learn, you don't pay attention. But there's 2.4 million people out there that's eating this up. Mm -hmm. This is why I stay relevant. So don't be, don't be close and miss it. Uh, it's, he said 31. I don't know. Yeah. What does it say? Business finance. Pop it open. Look at the description or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Oh, financial roadmap. The financial roadmap. Wow. That's the blueprint he's talking about. What, what did the financial roadmap? See, there's no, Tell me somebody else giving you a financial roadmap for free. No. Look, let's, let's look at these show notes. Definitely. Leverage your personal finance. Positive cash flow. Oh, 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 I showed out that time. I see it. <laughs> Leverage your personal credit. Keep going. Leverage your business finance. Level one. Oh, yeah. Capital. I put it, look, Leverage your business credit. Funnel into real estate. All right. So I need y'all to process this information. It's in the show notes. It's in the, I need y'all to process that hundreds of thousands of people a day are eating this information up. Don't let them pass you up. Anyway, go ahead, Shelly. You can go, go with your question and I'm going to close the it out. Okay. So you just mentioned that. Chapter one can be talked about in the first 10 minutes. So my question was, were you going to um, give us give us an example of how we can feel maybe the second or third 10 minutes? Yes, sure can. I sure will, you. but it happened Monday. That's what we do on oh. Monday. <laughs> yeah, that's what I had Grace right now. <laughs> so to remind All right. Yeah. All right. See, but no, but see, since she's doing the work, she's going to be blessed. Any of you didn't do the work, you're not going to be blessed. You, you, you're you going to, you, you know, you're going to, what you're going to do is you're going to shuck and jive your way through and have some completion, but the universe don't bless that. That's how you keep treating your life. You keep treating your life. Let me just, let me just, let me just do the, the minimum. Let me, let me, let me do it at the last minute. So you get a last minute blessing. Your life suck into the last minute when you can finally pay your rent. <clears throat> yes ma'am okay. you and then janice thank you i just want to say wait a minute y'all ouch <laughs> <laughs> amen <laughs> yes was that ready want to say something yes sir um my husband is asleep and i just wanted to make sure that um when he asked me renee what am i supposed to do I just want mm -hmm. to make sure that I have everything written on here correctly. Um, That's yes. a good spouse. Yes. So mm -hmm. um, 90, min 90 minutes, um, eight, 10 minute sections, yep. a five minute opener, a five yep. minute closer. Yep. And to have, um, for me, I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to do a, a webinar. So I wrote down my my eight sections i mean excuse me cool. yeah the eight the eight parts but of course i'll be talking about it for the 10 minute sections 
So, um, and then of course, for the webinar, it will look different with probably having an, an opener. It would be more like a story, probably bringing it into what that first bullet point would be, right? And then the closer would be more so of having like a wrap up and being like, why this is, why these things are important and and how that right. would look. But what I would do for the webinar, if you're gonna change the movie to a webinar, I would bleed it out. I would do my eight, 10 minute parts plus my five minute opener. But then I would go, I, so let's say I do my, I put my little chapter in the 10 minute part, then I would go to the internet and I would fill a bunch of spaces up inside that. And then section one becomes the first webinar. So I turn my eight sections into eight webinars. Okay. Eight sections. And then, and because they're going to be eight webinars over one story. Okay. And then each webinar, I have a sale. Maybe I sell the one product each time. I don't know. But I would absolutely bleed that out for multiple reasons. For one, I want to have eight webinars recorded as consistently rolling throughout the year. So that's, that increases your chances. You know, every day you got people signing up for each, web, each, you know, each webinar. Two, I know ain't nobody going to join my first webinar because I'm brand new. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to get demotivated. So I know I'm going to hit you with this second one. And I'm going to hit you with this third one. And I'm going to hit you with this fourth one. And then, most importantly, I want Melissa falling in love with me eight different times. So by the time she do come to me and reach out, she ready to close. Mm. Okay. All right. But I did have the, the oh, part and everything correctly. So I can give it to so I give it to Jay. I don't know what he what he wrote, but I want to make sure that he, he jumped on it frequently because I already got my stuff written down. Hey, no. Sugar, you, sugar, you're looking like a Reese's peanut butter cup. <laughs> well, you know, those good. You know, we eat those. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> you're looking good. Look at you. The sun all over you. Your curls is extra curling. You out yeah. there. You, you yeah. out there looking for a soulmate. I see you. I see you. Well, you're right about it. You're right about it. It's time. <laughs> That was such a good answer. You you write about it. I'm not going to go ahead and deny it. <laughs> I'm out here looking good on purpose. <laughs> okay, Janice, come on. Look, I'm out here looking good on purpose. You know, it's on purpose. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to make sure I, I have my assignment uh, written mm -hmm. down correctly. Okay, so we have to do a book uh, based on what we did yesterday. You're doing a movie today, and I'm tying your movie into, excuse me, your book into your movie, should you want to do it that way. Oh, okay. So, so you did the book yesterday. Right. But we don't have to, we don't have to actually produce a book for Monday. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, because I'm like, uh, just, you. Just, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so yeah. now we, um, based on what we wrote down for today, we have to do a 90-minute 90, 90 movie for Monday. An yes. uh, actual movie. I hear, but, I heard, uh, but you don't have to record it. What you have to do is have it all written down for me Monday. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, 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 it is more than what it could be bulleted points. You get what I'm saying? But you need to know act one, act two, act three. You know, you, you, you need to know how you're going to end. You need to know how it begins. Like you need to know that because we're going to build from that Monday. Okay. Yeah, Absolutely. I'll no, shoot a video. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks. <laughs> These are folks who be successful. <laughs> Professor, I, I did the assignment by accident. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, exactly. No, that, that's what it should be, right? You, you're talking about what's the ask Jerome. He's written multiple books. You, you're not allowed to say you're an author if you ain't wrote no book. It, let's, let's just keep it real. You ain't no leader with Thank no you. Followers. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I'm a leader. Who's following you? Nobody. But well, you ain't no damn leader. <laughs> you ain't no leader if ain't nobody following you. I'm a, I'm, I'm a, who is you doing? I'm a speaker. When was your last engagement? Three years ago? But you are not a speaker. No, you're not. No, you're not. I'm not a speaker. And a lot of y'all, 
the reason why a lot of y'all are not getting let me let me let me help y'all out. I'm, I'm going over on, on purpose now. They can they can they can, yeah. they can wait for the tour. The reason why your speaking career is not taking off is not because they don't want you. It's because you won't do what you're supposed to do. Let me tell you how this universe works. If you want to be a professional speaker and you ain't writing keynotes before you get keynotes, mm -hmm. your ass ain't going to do keynotes. If in the privacy of your prayer closet, you not when you get inspired, if you're not writing keynotes, God ain't giving you no stage. How dare you try to book the stage first and then write the keynote? Well, how is that faith, Jerome? Watch this out. Okay, unless she says she throws something at me. I'm trying to. So I just fell off the train. <laughs> the reason why y'all not being blessed is because you're not saying, here's my keynote source. Now, give me somewhere to speak it. That's how it works. That's how it works. You don't be like, Lord, give me a house, but I ain't saving no money. Huh? No, save the money, the house will show up. Fix your credit, the house will show up. Write your, so here's an here's a additional challenge for all of y'all, especially Adonia. Write out 100 keynotes and watch how you never had to have a job again. I'll accept that challenge. If you should, because it's what I do. I there you go. I've been public speaking. I've been professionally speaking since 2011. I ain't never had a job again. I had every time, every time the spirit hit me, I start writing. Mm. I had no idea I was building the bridge God was going to have me walking on. That's not what I was trying to do, Sugar. I wasn't trying to be smart. I was trying to be faithful to my inspiration. Mm -hmm. And since I was faithful to the few, come on, help me, help me, help, help me, Grace. Finish that, Fleming. Oh, okay, man, thank you so it. much. Make rulers over a minute. Go ahead, Deanna. You want to say something? We're going to get y'all. We're going to wake y'all up today. What's the deadline for this 100 Kino challenge? Give me that by Monday, too, Curve. What you talking about? Monday? What you talking about, man? So you want like all 100 I want your movie and your keynotes Monday. At least the titles. Okay. At least the titles. What are we waiting on? Look at this. like, oh my God, wait a minute. I got to work and I got church. I got to cook. <laughs> <laughs> but all you got to do is go to Google, talk, think about what you love so much. Like, I know Janice likes clean renial. What's the renial? Uh, kidneys. <laughs> Clean kidneys. All right, so you go to Google, you type in how to cleanse your kidneys. And each bulletin point is one of your keynotes. You live in the 21st century doing where this stuff is easier, y'all. I didn't say you needed to sit there and meditate, numb your whole range co, and wait for <laughs> the, the, the keynotes to appear in a cloud of smoke before thee. That ain't what I said. You got Google at your disposal. You can Google it, but you can. But so Monday, write this down for me, Grace. I want your movie and your keynotes. I want a hundred of them. And here's the deal: anybody crazy enough to do it, God is crazy enough to bless you. Now, ain't nobody over fifty better disagree with that one. Ain't nobody over fifty. Amen. <laughs> and when you get over fifty, you just start saying some of the stuff I got, I didn't earn. Yeah, see you, you young folks. I feel the second you young folks get on my nerve. When you get over 50, you start sitting back going, How the hell I get this house? Because <laughs> I don't know how this happened. I got this car. And I'm telling I'm telling I'm trying to talk to the folk. You the broke as you ever been, but you own more than you ever had. Mm. Who know what I'm talking about? Legally. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, right. All right, all right. <laughs> you ain't never been this broke. But you also ain't never been this blessed. Like when you, when you, for real, when you look around, you go, I got a whole bunch of stuff to be this broke. Well said. That's, that's real talk. That's that these are the folk who understand that's a lot of the stuff in your life we didn't earn. Mm. We ain't earned half of this. Somebody, whatever you want to, however you want to interpret it, somebody said, 
Jerome, I shouldn't give it to you, but you've been faithful. Here it is. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, Janice in a nice old house. Somebody was on the other side of the loan officer going, hmm, well, we can work with this. We can work with this, right? You know what I'm saying? We can work with this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to give you a little bit higher interest rate than normal. You know, so instead of 3%, we'll give you six. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. And things like that. We get things because we're in the right vibration. Not get things because we knew the inner steps and how it worked and the molecular structure of it. No, no. A lot of our blessings come because we showed up. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, okay. you young folks don't know what you're doing. Janice, <laughs> these young folks don't understand. Damn thing True. I'm saying. They, 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 they still think they did it. They still think they did it. It's me. I work hard for what I got. You know, okay, well, as long as you work hard for what you got, Melissa, God's going to ever bless you when you're working hard. Mm. Mm-hmm. I want to be blessed while I sleep. Yeah. You understand? Super sleep. I, I want to Bishop. Come on, man. You set me up for tomorrow, man. Ooh, talk about it, sir. Talk about it. <laughs> you set talk me about up for tomorrow, man. Ooh, I got something for you too. I got a. I got. I got. We we finna we finna start having you preach. For assembly of wonders. I forgot to tell you. I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you. Yeah. Yeah. You fit to, you, you fit to do one of the main services. Yes, sir. I'm down. I'm down. Yeah. And I'm yeah, going to put yeah, it right you in said, your gifts. Yeah. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm like, I ate a kind of healthy breakfast. So I'm kind of like in and out sleep, but I'm no, listening. That's good. That's good. But, that's good. Uh, and, for, and forgive me for in mm-hmm. and out, but I'm listening. And you set me up for this okay. concentration tomorrow. And it's yeah. like so. I'm excited. I'm just excited Amen. because all this week people just been saying things. People been saying things, and it's like setting me up for tomorrow. Mm. So I know there's, and I'm not here to preach today, Bishop. I'm not here, <laughs> but. I know there is a shift. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I know there is a shifting mm. going on. Come on now. And there's a shifting going on in ATS. Watch yourself now. Come on. Watch yourself. You know, we got some folk in here that run around and shout for no reason. Now. And, you don't need much. Well, and, and don't just, need much. Don't need much. <laughs> just because of being obedient, mm. just listening to this man that was in a trash can. Amen. And for being obedient, we about to shift. Even mm. though our year started in October, but what we gonna see, ah, yeah, cool. Mm. 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 Watch mm. it, Bishop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if y'all stick with me to February 1st, you that's what I'm talking so, about. Let me shut up. Yeah, you, right. you will have so much accomplished for this one major thing. You already got a book. Like, think about this. You are whatever the hell you've been praying for, it's totally working. Because you got a book and now you got a movie. Monday, you did not have a book and you did not have a movie. So, so do not sleep on what is happening. Down to say in the podcast, don't sleep on what's happening. There's something your prayers are being answered. They may not be showing up the way you thought, but they are showing up. And if you just stick and stay faithful to this one thing, if if in two days you got a book and a movie, imagine what's going to happen by February. Hello. Okay. See, we executing right now. But I absolutely plan on all of y'all launching in February. You understand? My birthday. See, there you go. You, we launching. ATS red carpet. You better talk about it. 
You better talk about news. it. You better talk about it. Y'all, y'all hear me? You, you feel me? Like I know, I know, I know we over, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to give you everything that is in me. Do not give up. Do 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 not this do not despise your small beginnings. Mm-hmm. You do have a book. Don't think you don't have a book. If you wrote down, that's a damn book. Don't let your logical brain say, well, I mean, you ain't write it out, though. Or you still got it. You got the book. How are you going to have a garden with no ground? If you got the ground, you got a garden. It don't matter if them seeds sprouted up yet, Ron. You got the garden. You've Any of y'all who, who did the assignment yesterday and today, you have planted seeds. And we all know this universe is very uh, consistent. If you plant a seed, you schedule a harvest. If you put a seed in the ground, you have just scheduled a harvest that's going to show up in your life. Amen. So you all have a book and a movie. Can I push it further? If you got a book, it means you got readers. If you got a movie, it means you got an audience. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Because here's the deal, Jerome. You don't plant an apple seed and get back an apple. Oh, hell no. You plant an apple seed and get back a tree of apples with 10 seeds apiece. So your book, come on now. It's called The Principle of Multiplication. The book don't come, Melissa, with an audience. No, the book come with a publisher. The book come with an audience. The book come with a page. The book come with royalties. The book, the book come with advertising, social media, all the stuff that you're not thinking of, that ain't your job. That's exceedingly and abundantly above all. All right. Boy, I'm trying. Okay, I, 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 I ain't got nobody else. I got Jerome and Antoine. You know, they love the Lord. No. I know I'm in the right place. Thank you, Lord. Right then. And then, and the crazy thing is, you getting this for free. Amen. That's all. That's hard. Watch yourself, boy. Watch yourself. (laughs) You get this for free. You hear me? You you getting this for free? So don't tell me prayer don't work. Don't tell me prayer don't work. Because you prayed and we here now. Now, this has happened. There's a story in the Torah to where the Jews needed to win a battle. Now, the problem with this battle is they're greatly outnumbered. They're greatly outnumbered. Okay? They number like 120 to 1. God tells Gideon, uh, get your get your light, get your lantern. Okay, I got it. Get your trumpet. Oh, wait though, hold hold the hell on. Hold hold on, God. Wait a minute. No, no, I need you to pay attention to this. Hold on. Uh, say it again. I get your lantern. Get your trumpet. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Now you didn't already maybe get rid of the whole military. You know, I already did that. I had 3,000, 30,000, now I'm down 300. You know, you already tripping. Preach, boy, preach. Come, come on now. Come on, Jerome. You know, already made me do all that. Now you telling me to go to war with no weapons? You just don't make no damn sense, Lord. This how, is this how Antonio talk. Though this, how, this is just how Antonio talk. Just let me talk to the Lord the way I talk to the Lord. I keep it real with the Lord, all right? You don't make no damn sense, God. This is how I talk. I know y'all don't cuss, but me and the Lord be having some talks. The hell you mean you want me you want me to go out there and get killed uh god don't even trip jerome don't even respond to me ron just say just do what i said get your landing in one hand put your trumpet in another one it don't make no sense but i'm gonna do it in there we gonna die now blow your now blow your trumpet blow it enemy get confused and kill themselves now, that don't make no sense either. But I'm going to tell you the point of that story, Melissa, because God was trying to tell the Jews, you won, and it had nothing to do with your hands. Help me, somebody. <laughs> Hallelujah. You're making me fall out of frame again. <laughs> it had nothing to do with your hands. <laughs> I, I did this. 
Topic. No hands. <laughs> no hands. No hands. This this ain't had nothing to do with your hands. So I'm telling you that if you do this movie and if you do this book, there's some stuff that is coming in your life ain't got nothing to do with your hands. The mere fact that you are getting this for free and it's, it's easy and it's understandable and it, it is communicable and you are literally doing it, this proves this ain't had nothing to do with your hands. None of y'all woke up January 1st and say, you know what? What I want is I want this dude that I don't know to give me everything I ever prayed for for free. Nobody said that. Ain't, no, ain't nobody said God, I want to be real selfish. What I want is what I want, and I don't want to ask for it. I want it the way I want it, and I'm going to sit down at 8 o'clock in the morning and go get it. Ain't nobody doing that. That ain't what you said. Yeah, all of y'all said, God, do it for me this way, the way I want it done. And now here it is coming because I ain't got your hands on it. Real blessings ain't had nothing to do with your hands. So go on, grab your, grab your ladder. Get your trumpet. Anyway, I just see this. This is why this is why most of my audience is older because I'm just an old soul. You young folk get on my damn nerves. Y'all just don't. Y'all get on my nerves. Y'all just you. You just act like God. Ain't you glad you made me? That's how you young folk act. <laughs> let, let me wrap this up, baby. I'm just trying to tell y'all that come do the work tonight today come back tomorrow and then imagine what's gonna happen by february 1st we're not gonna stop i changed the whole <laughs> y'all said something this week i was like you know what <clears throat> let's do quest for you then let's just do it i changed the whole curriculum i changed everything <laughs> just for you name me where you know a company that are safe like name me where verizon is out janice tell you what forget what we was gonna do let's make all this year about you that's your prayers at work. That ain't me. That's your prayers. Now, what is needed of you, Antonio, put your name in. Now, you got to show up and do the work. That's why every great leader have taught you, walk by faith, not by sight. Don't let your eyes get in the way, Ron. The eyes will get in the way. Ah, oh, man, but I don't, I don't know how to write a book. See? You ain't got to write a book. If you got 10 chapters, just talk those chapters and send it to somebody else to write it down. You ain't got to write no book. There's infinite possib possibility to do these things. So my last word to you is simple. Don't let the 2.4 billion something people in my outer network get more than you. That don't make no sense. That don't like you, you one of the disciples. And, and here's the deal, Jerome. <clears throat> they walk with that man, didn't even know who he was. What man that man is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Crazy how you can walk with your breakthrough and never recognize it was your breakthrough. Hey. Antonio T. Smith Jr. <laughs> Burn it with it. Yes, sir. I'm done. Can I have this recording, please? Please forgive me. Can yes, I have sir. this recording, please? Yes, sir. So, um, you shook. It's about after, 150 servers up in here. <laughs> after tomorrow, I know what I got to do. Yes, All sir. Right. You sure right, can. Please. Look, did we feel our hearts burn within? Yes, sir. We are done. Thank y'all so much. You can't play better. You can't dominate. We will see you the next time. If you want to pay me back, just buy a tour ticket. Even if you don't come, I would appreciate it. All right. That's all you got to do for me. We'll call it even. All right, y'all. Thank you so much. Love you, everybody. Love you, Love you more. Love you more. more. All right. Y'all have a good day. Yes. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.